Okay, you guys, rigid K400 auto feed. Sometimes initial AF. Half inch cable, 75 feet long. Really like the interchangeable heads. The system, it's not a screw, it's uh, a pin with a spring inside. Not cheap, $968, but I've seen it more expensive. And I've also seen it unavailable online except on Amazon previous years. So lucky enough, Home Depot selling it right now. At this price, with the cable, the foot uh, pedal, um, forward reverse, and the auto feed lever. You see us put it together. It's a new unit. We haven't used it yet, so that'll come later. But for now, at least you get the first impressions of the unit, how nice it is, how well it's going to work. We've just been designing stuff like this probably five, six decades, and they're very good at it, okay? We have a K700, 750 over here. Also, that daggone thing is too heavy. It's too hard to use. It's actually kind of dangerous. I think the cable on that might be 7 eighths of an inch thick. It's pretty heavy cable, about 100 foot long. Machine is very heavy. Last time we used the three of us had to put it on a pickup truck, and it wasn't no easy task. We didn't we didn't throw it on the truck, let's put it that way. <laughs> we got it on there and got it off, and it was it's easy enough to wheel around when you once you got it on the ground, but other than that, it's kind of annoying to lift up and put down. This is a lot nicer. Made for two inch to four inch lines. I can use it on mains, but only a short run being 75 foot. I'll be lucky if I get 55 feet, six, 60 feet in there before the snake starts rolling around the drum. Okay. Has a nice forward reverse. If you install the cable in a different way, the forward and reverse will work backwards. Tell, trust me, I have experience on this one. <laughs> uh, it's not always because it says forward, it says reverse. So you got to watch that, okay? This came from the factory, so I believe this is all correctly. It will go forward on the forward part and the reverse and the reverse part. It has a nice pulley in the back for tension on the belt. I think I'll put a small few second clip on that. Uh, what I use normally for kitchen sinks bathroom sinks and tubs is quarter inch i like to use five sixteenths on the kitchen sink three eighths i don't use that much we were using three eighths 25 foot length uh hand power drum snake by general to try to get through laterals and sometimes it got through sometimes it didn't this will get through this guy this is what i got this guy for all right uh, nice cutter head on there which is like this so it helps make the bends a little bit easier definitely cut through roots no problem get to grease clog no problem Wipes can be a problem. If I get through and the machine gets stuck, I'll have to pull it back out, pull the wipes off the head, put it back in, and then maybe two or three times finally get through. Okay? Grease clog might have to work a little bit, depending on how much grease this is. If you get it in there, back it up, so on and so forth, so I can break it apart. Okay? Going from the clean out in the unit is difficult. I can only go several feet about 14 15 feet before i sit that elbow on the base i also got the main line coming in where the main stack goes up and then i got a 45 degree two inch angle two uh two inch line that goes to the kitchen trap and then i got if there's a bathroom downstairs i have another 45 that runs to the toilet downstairs so that'll probably be three to four inch and the stack will be three to four inch okay they usually four inch over here cast and then they put PVC outside when we put a cleaner outside. Okay, so using the right, snake, right size refill in the drum for the right pipe is a good idea. You try not to break stuff. Okay, I'll get more into that later on. But at least I gave you guys a generalized description. Glad to see my job got it for us. Seen it. Much more expensive. Twelve, thirteen hundred dollars $1,300. Amazon was the only one that was carrying it for a while. And Home Depot is carrying now. So if you're looking for this, you might uh, look into it because it's at a very good price and it is available right now from HD. I'm not sure what Amazon is selling it because I didn't get a chance to take a look. Excuse me. Been a little bit sick for a couple of weeks, but we're doing good. Getting I better. I think that's all the information I have for you guys right now until I get a chance to use it and put that video up. Hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one. All right? Bye. Yeah, open it up. Show them the label too.
got it. They got the label. years ago I got permission to buy it finally they budgeted it and we got it for our site for all laterals <laughs> for two inch to four inch funnel. got a kit there while we at it it's for our wheels These gloves are not that great. We use uh, welding gloves. Information. Look at that a little closer later. This is a nice head right here. It get a lot of clogs out, get through roots and stuff like that. This one doesn't work, my favorite. I really don't use that one. This ring is to put the heads on so you can have some way to store them. Gotta find out what this tool is for. gloves we do use they work much better than those those get contaminated one time and they dry up shrivel up they don't work very good these work great I put an oil on them I'll show you that in a second get the pin in there, I believe. That's already in there, so that's nice. You know, we got an oil feed, so we gotta turn it. This is our foot pedal. You can buy these separately if they start to wear out. They don't cost very much, the foot attachments. Basically like their little holes for the clamp. That's all that is. I will get, uh, One second. Okay. Well, we got a little on off control here. A test and a reset. Where? Nice. He's got a break on it. He's fine. And we got a reset on the motor here also. And we got a forward and a reverse. It really depends on how the, the snake is in the drum, whether it goes forward or reverse. So you can't always pay attention to forward or reverse. Got to be careful with that. Yeah, we got to take out the auto feed because I'm looking for it. Like, where is it at? And it's, it's not there. We haven't installed it yet. And we also do got. Do y'all get many lateral stops up? 
we get enough. We get, uh, okay. I would say we get four thousand months. Something like that, yeah? Yeah. Something like that, yeah? And it, it ain't cheap to do a lot of it. They got to come out here with a steak this size. Okay. Yeah. It's going to freeze in his hand right now. Now we got to figure out how to put it on. Looks like we got to take these two bolts off. Some soft in different places. Yep. So give us a minute while we do all that. Pause the video. Anyway, that there is the instructions how to get the old unit off and the new auto feed on. Okay. You guys got that? I think so. I mean, it did, did it? You gotta pull the snake off first so you can get it through the. Pull the snake down. There you go. No, I just wanted to make sure that, like, it's a little tricky because the instructions show a 380 and a K400. This is a K400 AF for auto feed. Sometimes they just write auto feed on it. He's almost got it on. Yeah. Yeah, I'm back on with it. This is my way. Right, yeah. And it basically pushes forward There, that belt tensioner. Oh, the belt oh. back, yeah. There's a pulley in there to keep the belt oh. tension. Kind of cool. Oh, 